Two events left to go, and as we see our Wrangler official in place, flag in hand, up and ready, that can mean only one thing. We are ready for the women's barrel racing competition. Annie Stone starts us off here. Annie was 17 seconds flat in the first go-round. Would like to uh, be a little quicker here in round number two. She will be 17-11, gives her a total of 34-4. Sean Beeman now. Now as our in-house announcer is explaining, as many of you rodeo fans know, these barrel racers can like to either go to the right hand or the left hand barrel first. Does not matter. Once they come in, they can go either way through the pattern here. And Shauna's time is going to be 17-12. That will give her a total of 34.18. Here's Penny Whitlow. Penny was 16.98 in the first go-round. Round up to uh, last barrel, leaves them all standing here to be penalty free. Penny's time is going to be 17.95, gives her a total of 34.93. What a beautiful setting here, as you can see the trees in the background here in Pinocchio. Shane Hops them now. Oh no, knocks the barrel over. That is going to cost Shane 10 seconds in penalties. Now, if you knock two over, you might as well knock that third one down. Her time is going to be 27 and 42. Here's our next girl. This is Francis Church. That's 1711 so far, the fastest run in our short go round. Boy, look at Francis. Pouring it on here with this sorrel horse. And the time for Francis is going to be 1687. Gives her a total of 33 and 74. Well, I want you to take a look at this horse. Good looking buckskin horse here. This is Debbie Gully. Gets in the ground right there as she comes around that first barrel. Gets in the ground good around barrel number two. Nice tight turns. And around that third barrel, just a picture perfect run right here. Debbie Gully is going to stop the clock here at 16 and 95. I like that horse. Nice pony. Let's go down to Charlotte Smith. Cut fake Montana for this cowgirl. Turns around that barrel there. Now they try to keep the momentum going here when they turn those barrels. They don't want to knock one down, as we saw earlier. Would cost a five second penalty for every barrel knocked over. And as Charlotte Smith crosses the line, it is 16.99, gives her 33 and some change on two of them. Leslie Sloster is next to go. This young lady comes from a rodeo and family and is married into a rodeo and family. Loses a stirrup right there, but gets it back as she comes around that barrel. Now it's important that you don't lose those stirrups. They can oftentimes be the cause for knocking a barrel down. And Leslie Slosher is going to be long here at 17.19. Gives her 33 and 85 on two. Just two to go now as we go to Monica Wilson. Monica rides in, sizes it up, and likes to go to the right hand barrel first. Takes a look across to barrel number two, turns and looks at that third barrel. A little bit wide there as she pushes off of barrel number three. Monica Wilson is going to be 17 and 18, and she will be out of the average. All right, here's our final one to go. This is Sandy Eman. Nice turn there. Look at this horse. Boy, he does cut it close right there around that barrel and turns the third barrel here. Sandy had the fastest time in the first go-round. She is going to be 16.93 here for...